want to feed the world in the future, then we need to produce the same amount of food as we did over the last 8,000 years. The security of the food system one of the world's most pressing challenges. We might have some answers for how we are tackling it. Consider this, if everyone on earth ate diet that would require all the habitat land to be used for agriculture, and that's right now. What do we do when there are 2 billion more people? Well, the key is more exciting than it sounds, and it's efficient. Basically, how do we produce a lot more on the land we're already using, and do it using a lot fewer natural resources? Everyone involved in the system was aligned and embraced innovation to reach the shared goal and that driven efficiency on a level unmatched anywhere else in the world. If there's one place that approach is most clear, it's in their unrivaled greenhouse growing operations. So, if you produce tomatoes out of growing seasons with 4 kilograms per square meter, if you do this in high-tech greenhouse bin, you will end up with 80 kilograms per square meter, which is 20 times more. High technology offers really a possibility of producing a lot of food per square meter in a sustainable way. They are the world leader in the production of chilies and green peppers, and cucumbers for potatoes, onions, and carrots. But the bottom line is they've been able to get so much out of so little. Most people know that greenhouses allow growing to trick a very little thing but taking it to the next level. They've reflected that greenhouses as the ideal environment to continue to test and implement all kinds of ways to optimize growth. A drone is able to detect the moth, also to see how it's flying and with it being propellers to crush the moth. Ultimately, the key to solving our global food challenge isn't just in relying on super efficient food producers to carry the weight for everyone else. It's learning from and adapting the technology. Innovation starts really by bringing all networks together in the world we live nowadays.